Hello, this is Eric Merritt from Eric Merritt Sells AZ Real Estate, Realtor at Home Store in Northeast Mesa. This is our third Queen Creek, Santan Valley, and Queenland Manor Laneley Estates uh, community video, market update video that we're going to go into. Uh, we'll talk about the data of what happened in June last month, June 2021, average sales price, number of units sold, sales price to list price ratio, uh, inventory absorption rate, then we're going to go into the highs and lows of each of those two communities in Queen Creek and Santan Valley. We're also going to go into the synopsis of the Metro Phoenix area that we'll go into comparing what our actives were all the way back from October of last year, actives and the number of closed all the way to last month. So you can see the trend of our inventory is starting to creep up. And then we're going to go into uh, different sales price ranges and the types of homes so you can see uh, how they were paid for fha conventional cash and va and then out of the ones that were sold fha how many of those had seller concessions which was very very low seller concessions really don't exist too much or hardly at all definitely not on single family so we're going to go into that i think it's very important to know how they were paid for uh, so especially if you're a first time home buyer, you need to do anything you can to get a conventional loan. If you got to pay a little bit higher interest rate to go conventional, so be it. Do it first, just get into a home and then you can refinance later and get the lower interest rate. Um, so that way your payment will be where it should be based on what you're paying for the house, but at least get the house now. And now it's getting easier to buy. Instead of having 20 offers, now you'll probably have five or six. So it is getting a little bit easier to buy out there uh, because the inventory is creeping up in these bread and butter areas by 50 to 80% in some cases. So we're gonna go into all those things. So if you find this video interesting and informative, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and share this great video with your friends or anyone that you know that wants to move into the Queen Creek, Santan Valley area. And we'll get this video started. Thank you. Hello, this is our third Queen Creek, Santan Valley and other communities market update video for July 2021. We're going to go into the data of what happened in June 2020 or 2021 last month. Queen Creek had 203 that sold last month, which is 45 more than in May. 24 days on market. Sales price to list price ratio, a very strong 103.3%. So that basically means on a $500,000 house, you're getting 15,000 over no matter what. Uh, the monthly inventory supply has gone up a little bit from 0.52 to 0.68. That's why it's in yellow going up. Highest sold was 1,650,000. Lowest sold was 281,000. And the average sales price was 554 since 48. Uh, number of actors was 138 on July 12th versus only 82, I believe, on June 9th. And we're going to go into that part in the last part of the video, showing you how the inventory has been creeping up. San San Valley, pay very good attention to this. 244 sold, only five more than in May. Uh, 19 days on market, 102.9% of list price, which is good. Uh, monthly inventory supply is 0.47 instead of 0.27. So now it's getting closer to a half month supply of 15, you know, 14, 15 days. Uh, the highest sold was 1,520,000, lowest was 114,000. Average sales price right here, 420 big ones, 420,402. That is huge for San Chan Valley. Uh, number of after was 114 on July 12th. Uh, Lane Lee Gateway Estates, a neighborhood that I door knocked five years ago. Uh, two homes sold last month, two days on average market, 104.5% of list price. is a sales price, the list price ratio. Uh, 550,000 was the highest it sold. The lowest it sold was 495. Average sales price, 522.5 and there were no actives on July 12th. Queenland Manor, the neighborhood next to that, that I also door knocked five years ago. Seven homes sold, which is six more than in May. Uh, 20 average days on market, 106.5% of list price. 
very, very big. So a $400,000 house, basically 6% more. So that's what, $24,000, basically what that comes down to. Uh, highest sold was 730,000. Lowest was 402. Yeah, lowest in Queenland Manor was 402,000. I remember when the lowest in Queenland Manor was like 220, 235 years ago. Uh, average sales price was 546, 286 in Queenland Manor, and there were no actives on July 12th. These are the highs and lows. So 1,650,000, 61 days. This is what it looks like. It sold at the full list price. The lowest it sold was 281 at 40 days, 96.9%. Uh, the highest it sold in Santan Valley looks like it was on the ranch, uh, 1,520,000. 64 days on market, 84.4% of list price. Uh, 44,189 square feet. And it had a very good, nice, nice size pool there and it got some land as well. Uh, the lowest it sold was 114,000, 28 days, 91.2% of list price. And I believe that is on a leasehold. So uh, at 114,000, you cannot buy that with the land. That is on a lease where you pay in park rent. Lane Lake Gateway Estates, uh, the highest it sold was 550,000, two days on market, 104.8% of list price, 3530 square feet. So I, that's the biggest model you can get in Lane Lake Estates. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not the biggest one. The biggest one, there's uh, two stories south of there that are in the 4,000 square foot range, like 40, 4,500, I believe, 44. So that's in this section, that is the biggest model in the south, I mean, the northeast section of Lane Lake Gateway Estates. Uh, the, lo the lowest it sold was not too low. I mean, 495,000, it was a 2306 two story at 104.2% of list price. Uh, Queenland Manor, the highest it sold was this very nicely remodeled 730,000. 40 days of market at 112.3% of list price. This was a 2706 uh, square foot single story. And then the lowest was a 402,000, uh, 15, this is a 1505 at 105.8% of list price. Very strong market here. So if you want to see all these pictures to these listings and have access to that, what you need to do is copy this link over into a separate window and you will have access to all the pictures and more data for the highs and lows in those two neighborhoods and the two cities. Uh, the third part we're going into is a synopsis. Notice on October 18th, we had 8828 active and then the tsunami buyers came in on January 20th, which I've said in other videos before, 5385. And we stayed four months under 5,000 units, February, March, April, and May. And then in uh, June, we finally crept up over 5,000, 5,582. July 13th, we had 6,044. Today on July, Monday, July 19th, I did check it and we had about, we have 6,700 units. So we'll see how many of them go out of active status and go into under contract and pending, and then the number of actors will drop back down. Let's see if it stays over 6,000 because last week it did. Uh, we had 10,027 that sold on, in October. I mean, I'm sorry, last September. And then last October, we had 10,022. Took a little bit of a slump in February, 7364. I think it's because of the lack of inventory, to be honest with you. And now we're creeping up. Uh, we sold 10,187 last month, 500 more units than in May. So because of that, even though our inventory is creeping up, we are selling a little bit more. So that is keeping the monthly inventory rate pretty much exactly the same, 0 0.59 versus 0 0.58 in May. Uh, the Crawford Market Report Index shows red in all these cities except for Cave Creek. So the, this is showing the buyer demand is going down in all of these cities. With the exception of the lowest ones that have the least amount of slowdown are the luxury market. Paradise Valley, only 4% less. Cape Creek had 2% increase. Um, let's see here. 
It's kind of interesting here. Uh, Goodyear only had a 3% decrease in demand according to the Crawford Market Report. But I'll show you in the next, the last part of the video, how much more the additives have increased from June to July to now. So in the East Valley, there were two cities that pretty much tied each other and the appreciation of Apache Junction was 49.7% increase from a year ago, almost 50%. Same with Santan Valley, 49.8% increase. Uh, Santan Valley was 420,402 in average sales price last month versus 280,559 a year ago. Queen Creek was 554, 648 versus 425,100. So that's 30.4% increase. Southeast Gilbert was 616,000 last month, 568 versus 429,600 a year ago at 43.5% increase. North and Central Gilbert was pretty much the same, 43.3% increase. Uh, Gold Canyon, I remember last month, was very huge. 32.4 was the increase there. And this column here shows the number of transactions less. Uh, in June versus May. Uh, Queen Creek had 28.5% increase in transactions, 45 more units were sold. And Santan Valley is only a very, very small 2.1% increase, five more units were sold in Santan Valley last month versus May. So these are the types of homes and transactions of June, 2021. So mobile homes from 150,000 to 300,000 Average sales price was 215,770. Sales price to list price 100, 100%. And we had 147 active versus 182 sold. So we still have under a month of inventory in the mobile home market from 150 to 300,000. Out of the 182 that sold, only 39 were sold FHA, which is just over 20%. So if you are a, a mobile home buyer, you need to make sure you're cash or conventional. Do anything you can to get conventional at least. Because if you're FHA, it's going to be very tough for you. Um, out of the ones that's 39 that sold FHA, only six had seller concessions. So uh, condos and townhomes don't really apply in Queen Creek and Santan Valley. So I'm going to go to the, this is all the Metro Phoenix area, by the way, 2240 sets were closed from 250 to 350. So of that, 971 were conventional and 652 were cash. So out of this, that equates to just over 1600. So out of 16, out of 1600 were sold cash and conventional out of 2240 cents. That's a pretty big, that's, I believe that's, uh, it's gotta be about 70% and 349 were sold FHA. So 350 to 500, 103.6%. Uh, so now you have the 3,007. So 1763 plus 713, that's just under 2,500. 2,500 divided by 3,007 is about 80 to 85% were sold cash or conventional. Single family, 500,000 to 750, 102.3 percent was a sales price to list price ratio and we have 1573 were sold 1347 were active so we're getting close to a month here on 500,000 to 750 1107 were sold conventional 264 were sold cash so that's out of 1573 and then it goes up from there uh, 750 to a million one to two two to three three to five so three to five had the lowest sales price to list price ratio at 96.5%, five million above with 96.7. And out of the 103, I mean, out of 16 that closed that were five million and up in all the Metro Phoenix area, two were sold conventional and 10 were sold cash. So you can see that, uh, you know, the, high, the more expensive it gets over a million, then your ratio from cash and conventional changes, of course. I mean, who wants to pay a, a huge mortgage on a $5 million house? I certainly wouldn't. I wouldn't pay cash for it. Um, so anyway, that goes into the market there. Now, this is the 
Second component that I put into this, I just added this for this month because I wanted to show you how much more the inventory is creeping up. So the average sales price, Queen Creek 554, 648, Santan Valley 42402. Look at both of these. Queen Creek had 82 units on June 8th, and now there is 138 on July 12th. Santan Valley had 64 on June 9th, and 114 on July 12th. That's 78% increase there. So if you're thinking about selling, the time to do it is very soon. If you have the motivation and you know exactly what, what type of house you want to have, if you need more broad space, you need more square footage, you need a downsize, or you want to be in that master plan community that has all the amenities, do it now because now it's starting to become, I mean, we're still going to be in a seller's market no matter what but we're not even at a month's supply yet. So it's starting, so as a buyer is what I'm saying, it's gonna be easy, a little bit easier to get into the next home without fighting 20 different offers or 10 different offers. There'll be half as many offers or even less than that. And there won't be, um, it won't be quite, I mean, it'll still be competitive, but it won't be so insane that it was the last three months or four months. So the luxury market right here, Carefree, um, is a million, one million one hundred forty-four thousand sixty-five. There are twenty-seven active on June eighth, twenty-six active on July eleventh. So the inventory in these areas are not changing that much. Uh, the luxury market is staying very solid as far as the monthly inventory supply and the actives. It's not shooting up like it is in the bread and butter markets here. Uh, average sales price in PV was 3,037,549. 3, uh, we had 132 on June 9th that were active versus 136 on July 11th. So I'm saying the market in the, lux the luxury market average active inventory is not going up that much or hardly at all. And Carefree, it actually went down by one. So that's what I wanted to show you about this part is how much more these cities are going up a lot of these are going up over 50% more inventory with the exception of uh, Glendale and Northeast Mesa and Phoenix, actually. Everything else has gone up 50 to 85% here. Chandler was the highest at 81% increase in inventory. So if you find this video interesting and informative, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and share this video with your friends or anyone that wants to move into the Phoenix area or Queen Creek, Santan Valley. And we'll happy, be happy to help them, create, take excellent care of them. And we will show them, um, you know, the part that's all buyer consultations will have, will show this. In each of these price ranges, you will see how many are FHA, cash and conventional and VA. That is very important for all buyers to know so that you will not get frustrated. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a great week and a great month. Thank you.